Recently I asked if you guys can make planar crafted gear on your characters to please send me some, sell me some, whatever you would like. I just need it on my alts very badly. My warrior is doing alright, but my alts need the gear. And Eths in my guild on Wolfsbane, which is Grim's Reapers, sent me a belt piece on my rogue, which I highly needed. I have the PvP piece, but it is endurance heavy, and I don't have the Abyssal Crusader marks in order to upgrade it. So this is a huge item for me. Thank you very much, man. What's up guys, Graham here. Going out with some marksman rogue action here. And this is an extremely strong class. If you, if you haven't played marksman rogue, you are really missing out. Uh, we should be able to get really high kills in this. Um, oh man, one of our guys threw down some bursts there. That guy went down, man. But one of our guys went down too, so... But he went down right in the middle of his team. I don't know if our guy uh, died right in the middle of the team or if he tried to pick a fight off on the side. I don't know. Oh, they're stripping my buffs. Ooh, ooh, doing a lot of damage to me. Doing a lot of damage to me. What is this guy doing? What? Is he running Bard? And he's right in the middle of our team with 77,000 hit points. Bad idea. If you don't, if you're not running a tank spec right now in this warfront, you should not be right in the middle of the enemy team. He was setting himself up for failure. Bad movement. He, if he's wanting to fight people, he should do it off to the side, like around the um, the glaciers there, the ice formations, or however they are. But um, yeah. It, you don't want to run right down the middle as a melee and be or be right in the middle of a bunch of enemies unless you are a tank because melee just cannot survive it right now. There's pretty much pretty much no effective melee spec that can really take a hit right now. I've been playing around with some uh, Paragon uh, Void Knight builds and having fun with that. Like you, uh, you probably seen uh, one of my recent videos where I, uh, I I went up and I fought a marksman and I was running uh, Paragon Void Knight in that in that video, and uh, yeah, I was just smashing that marksman with it because I had lots of defensives and also uh, pretty good damage, being a Paragon with shifting blades and everything. I seen people in the comments. They were saying, oh, "Well, uh, Reaver will never be able to beat a marksman one on one." Yada yada. I wasn't fighting him as a Reaver. Uh, I was a Paragon Void Knight. In that type of fight with so many defenses, and if I can stay on him, yeah, I'm going to smash him. The thing is, is that most marksmen do not know how to play against melee anymore. No, nobody knows how to play against melee. So uh, a marksman rogue is not even going to have any kind of uh, defensives against melee. You know, won't be using their knockbacks usually, won't be uh, rooting anybody or anything like that. It, it's, it's not going to be anything defensive against a melee. We're not getting too lucky on these kills, man. Normally I get really high kills as a marksman, no matter what kind of gear. This, this is one of those builds that it, it can perform well even uh, no matter what kind of gear you have. It can't take a hit too well. Uh, that's very gear dependent there uh, for a marksman spec. But it does it does pretty well as long as I can fight at range. Whoa, 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 no, 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 stop, 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 no, 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 ah, I can't believe I accidentally hit my leap back there. On some of my builds, I have a defensive on that button, and I accidentally hit my leap back instead, so I leapt right back into the enemies right then. Oh, that was, that was failure right there. Juggernaut. So, so normally I can hit that button and on uh, many of my other builds I'll have a like the big heal there if I can use a big heal 
Oh man, these guys are just pouring on some damage onto me. The Reaver here. But um, yeah, so it's kind of instinct to go down and hit that button as soon as I start getting in trouble. And on this character, I have it as a leap back, which is a defensive, you know, it, it lets me leap away from the enemies, but I don't know. Get confused sometimes. I switch specs so much, so I don't always uh, remember exactly where I have all my buttons. Like a lot of people that will be good at multiple specs usually stay within one class. Take, uh, take for instance if uh, they're good at Marksman Rogue. Well, then they'll go over to like a Nightblade Rogue or uh, a Physician Rogue or something like that. It'll be all the same kind of concept and... Uh, They'll, they'll memorize those three specs. Whereas I, I play on multiple classes, multiple specs. It's pretty hard to remember everything. That's why I like to keep things uh, a lot of times basic with uh, the macros and stuff on most of my builds. Oh, oh man. I, I was kind of worried about him. He was low health. I was low health. It was who was going to kill who first. I don't know if he was prepared to fight me right then, though. But yeah, it, it, the key is to playing so many different specs like that is to keep it pretty basic on yourself. Try to put buttons in the same places, uh, as in, you know, defensive abilities in defensive slots that you normally play on another spec. So if I go down and hit one button and it's going to cast a shield or a heal well that's what i want to put on my other build that you know i'm going to run is a shield or a heal in that same spot so i'm going to hit have the same kind of reaction so to say some specs just have different things so it's kind of harder to do it such as uh marksman having a leap back i'm not used to having a leap back on my specs anymore I used to do it all the time on my Warlord builds, but, you know, when's the last time I played Warlord? It, Warlord has been terrible. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, people can play Warlord and make it work sometimes, you know. It, you can play almost any spec and make it work, but that doesn't mean it's good. That does not mean it's good. Come on, finish him off. Dang it, he's getting heals. No, man. This guy's getting too much heals. No. I had him so dead, man. I, I was even, like, extending way too much to get that kill. And then they heal him up. This dude's doing a viral stream. Not cool. Boom! Down you go, Reaver. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's running uh, Marksman. Seen he was running uh, Melee earlier, and now he switched over to Marksman. Guess Melee wasn't working out. So they got multiple Marksmen on their side right now. Man, they do so much damage. Uh, all the time having to run away, man. Rampage. Have some pretty decent heals on our side, though. Let's get these buffs back up. Stinking marksman on the opposite side. Keep stripping my buffs. Yeah, but marksman is so good. Guys, if you're playing a rogue, play marksman. That should be the number one spec that you should go to. Uh, unless you just run Physician all the time. Uh, as far as Nightblade and stuff like that, yeah, those are uh, it's a very good spec. Or even like an Assassin or something like that. Or even a Bard. Bard is pretty good. Uh, all those specs are really good. But the number one Rogue spec right now is Marksman. I mean, unless you're, unless you're running Physician. That's a whole different category. So, uh, yeah. Marksman is just so good and, and it's the it's the I win button so to say you can you can win with the other specs but Marksman yeah you're gonna have the greatest success with that 
Gosh. But whatever you do, don't do like that guy was just doing. His whole thing was not to get away. He, he was getting beat up. And he was going to die in that fight, me versus him, because he was lower in health. You know, he might have had a gear advantage or something like that, but he, he was at a disadvantage with health. But yet, he was more intent on jumping. You know, the jumping and running away strategy is, is effective, but not if you're going to die, man. You know, just turn around, use all of your cooldowns to get away. Leap back, use your teleport forward, hit your run speed increase, get away. Don't don't try to do the jumping around uh, stuff whenever you're about to die. There, there's no point in it. And also, for you that jump around for no reason, it's just part of your PvP, you make yourself a target. Like these guys. Look, uh, look at my teammates. These guys are just jumping around. So whenever I see somebody jump around, they become a target to me because they're making themselves obvious. They're, they're jumping around. They're, they're saying, hey, look at me kind of thing. And, yeah, I'm going to shoot them. <laughs> I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some arrows in their butt. The only time that you should ever be jumping around in Rift is if you're doing the jump and retreat tactic where you're wanting to hit your opponent while you're doing a full-fledged run. Now, if you're just doing a sideways run where you're kind of running to the side and kind of going away, though, you know, go, uh, running away but doing it side to side, just run. Don't, don't uh, use your strafing to run side to side. Don't jump. Are we about to win? Okay, our guy is running in the last stone. We might pull off the win here. For those of you that don't know, if you jump around in, uh, in Rift, I mean, not only are you making yourself obvious and also a target, you're, um, it makes melee hit you easier because they get a, uh, their reach is increased on a target that is jumping. And also, it makes it more difficult to play because, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to jump and shoot or however else you're doing it. Yeah, we're about to win this. Oh, man. It, this person was picking their position right, but then they wouldn't run away as soon as we spot them. Bad move, man. All right, there we go. Got the win. Smashing people marksman style. All right, went 12-0, and 0, and there was one other person at 12-0, and 0, so we topped kills along with that other person. Very nice. And we were missing out on a lot of the killing blows on that one. So let's see what we got in the satchel here. Ah, platinum. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.